kind of affect you directly? A few days ago, we talked about two days ago, we learned that well, the Labour Party have agreed, that was what the headlines and the body of the story wasn't very specific, have agreed to a merger with uh, the PDP and other political party. But well, the right first country in that, and I say no, that did not happen. I'd like you to have your reaction to this. Yeah, I think uh, that is actually what I had the first day that uh, they have not. So the other stories that uh, they've agreed, uh, the proposal was made by Tiku early this week. So when the, the parties, uh, the parties is calling to come together, when have they met as to agree for major or discussion, I started to ensure that maybe at the end of the day, the parties will merge. I think uh, Labour, what I will expect from Labour Party is not even go to go into that kind of measure. They should now begin to rebuild the party and strengthen the party in the next four years. I don't like this issue of uh, uh, gangsterism in our politics. APC started this and uh, that was I think 2014. APC there are other legacy parties that came together to form APC. It was a gang up against Jonathan's administration and against PDP. Where did he lead us to? What is the benefit of that gang up for Nigerians? Only the darkness we are seeing in the land today for the past eight years plus. So, um, PDP or at somebody I think who call it for such is also to come together maybe to edge out APC at the end of the day. What is the objective? Is the objective to capture power? We are not thinking of how to reset this nation. We are not thinking of how to restructure this nation. We are not thinking of how to make this nation a productive but to hijack power. To take power. And that is what defines our political formations, our political development, our political engagements. And uh, for me, that is jaded. For me, that is quite um, uh, medieval in nature. So I feel that political power should find a creative way. It's because of the kind of impunity we see in our politics. If we have some judiciary, if we had independent INEC, we have security agencies that are not the security arm of political parties. I don't think we need this kind of a thing. But we see a situation where the political class, especially the ruling party, have a kind of pocketed the judiciary, INEC, military, police, all the national institutions, and the people are left at their messes. Do you know that today, and which is against the constitution politicians have been appointed into INEC and they will give excuses and close their eyes as if it is not right nobody questions them politicians have been appointed into EFCC into ICPC so at the end of the day what is going to be the fate of this nation in terms of development in terms of resetting this society for make it an organized society that people should be happy, should be proud of, and they can a kind of and you see that kind of nationalism and patriotism that we are also expecting from Nigerians.